million young people march on Washington, and they say to the Republican leadership, we know what's going on, and you'd better vote to deal with student debt. You'd better vote to make public universities and colleges tuition-free. That's when it will happen. That comment from Bernie Sanders back in August inspired something that is happening today across America on college campuses. I'm going to tell you more about that in just a moment. But first, I got to ask you this. Number one, do you feel education is a right in America? Also, do you feel college should be free to everyone at public universities? Now, I ask you this because today, again, thanks to that comment from Bernie Sanders, college students across the country are walking out of their classes in what is being dubbed as the Million Student March. Fight the power, baby! They're protesting the ballooning student debt problem in our country. And the students protesting, a couple things here. One, they believe education is a right. They also have three basic demands. One, they demand free tuition at all public universities. Two, they demand forgiveness of all current student loan debt. More on that in a moment. And three, they demand a $15 minimum wage. Protests worked at University of Missouri. Maybe they'll work for this. Here's you got to keep in mind. Right now, student debt hovers around $1.2 trillion, and these students want the government to completely absolve them of all this debt. They want you and I, the taxpayer, to basically flip the bill here, and they're looking to the government to solve the problem. Here's the thing. We all know this because Ronald Reagan once said it. The government is not the solution to this problem. The government is is the problem let me explain a recent study from the new york federal reserve essentially says the reason student debt has ballooned so dramatically as of late is in large in large part because of government back subsidized loans the student is really just they're just a pass-through for this deal this is all about the colleges and universities being able to gorge themselves at the government trough of student loans i want to take you take a look at this at how much tuition and fees have increased since 1978 in comparison to the consumer price index. They've increased tuitions 1,225% compared to 279. Tuition and fees have increased nearly five times as much as CPI. And look, the colleges, they got absolutely zero skin in this game. They, when you go there and you give them that money, they get to keep your money whether you graduate or not. So think about this for a moment. How many of you out there that are watching, you remember maybe going to college, working while you were going to school, maybe work during the summer, and then you ended up paying for school essentially as you went through it. That's what most people did until the government started to back the loans that got really heavy into this game. The other thing we have to start asking ourselves is this. Is a college degree still a great investment for the average Joe and Jane? A recent report from The Economist says right now UND and NDSU they are not great values for the money that families are spending on them. Also, very recently, Time Magazine report showed that for the first two years of college, wait till you hear this, mom and dad, for the first two years of college, parents are spending roughly $80,000 so your kid can go out and become uber proficient at this. That's right, your sons and daughters getting good at beer pong. Most of you are paying for them to soak up suds rather than knowledge. <laughs> Look, student debt, I get it. It is a very serious issue, not only because it's obviously burying our younger generation in debt, but also because it's slowing down our economy. Look, young people are not buying cars, homes, and other typical young adult items because their student loans are essentially eating up all their disposable income. In my opinion, we need to stop telling everyone that, hey, a four-year degree is the only answer for them, because in the reality, it, it simply is not the answer for everyone. Right now, wait to hear this. Right now, there are over 250,000 welder jobs across the country that pay anywhere from fifty dollars to $100,000 a year. That's not a bad gig for a two-year degree, and you're probably going to graduate with absolutely zero debt. Here's what I want to leave you with. I'm a huge proponent of higher education. It's important, obviously, that we go out, we educate our youth. I get that. And let's do it in a very efficient and effective manner. Think about this for a moment. What typically happens, when you think about the average Joe, what typically happens when you give something to someone for free? Typically, they don't value it as much. And I know this because 
I played with a bunch of guys that were getting a free education at Stanford University. That is one of the most prestigious universities in the nation. Most people I know, they would do anything to go out and get a free Stanford degree. Yet, here is a very real life story that I remember very vividly. Guy I played ball with back at Stanford completely blew off a final because he was in the middle of a Sega video game. <laughs> I was stunned. I was like, dude, you have a final. He's like, I know. I don't, I don't care. Completely blew it off. And here's what I want to share with you is that if he was paying for his college that day, he would have been blown off that final. He would have absolutely been there. So I want to know from you your thoughts. Go to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash 630 POV and let us know, hey, should college be free at all public universities or not? And stay right where you're at because when we come back, the Golden Gophers have a new football coach, the Fargo Flash. My old playing partner, Justin Kenzemius, is going to join us. He's an old Minnesota Gopher standout. We'll get his thoughts on the new coach and obviously Coach Kill's presser. Much more coming up. And as always, uh, let us know your thoughts about this whole free college stuff.